we're going to be reading... A dark champion, the beautiful Rowena, the test for and all who fight it, it would never allow a knight like Strider of Blackmore into our heart, but even the renowned Lady of Love needs a champion. The Lady of Love, beautiful, peace-loving Rowena, knows that Strider of Blackmore is a warrior and therefore a man to be shot. But something burns in the eyes of this powerful knight that she has never seen in others of its kind. A tenderness and a need to love and be loved. Yet to enter his world would be madness against every principle by which she has lived in her life. So she must resist the yearning that would draw her into his arms. A man of war. Duty to battle for right. Strider has never desired the comforts of home and hearth until he gazed upon the exquisite face and form of the incomparable Rowena. He dares not succumb to her sensuous tribes, for Strider is a man sworn to know no love. But when treachery and danger threaten, the noble knight must stand as the unsuspecting lady's champion. Though his actions could cost him his honor, his heart, and his forbidden dreams of happiness. Let's begin. Killing McGregor, a dark champion. Prologue. I'm not gonna read that, that's dumb. Chapter 1. Test the arms, my bloody horse. They ought to call it the whatever. Let's just go to the walk scene. I thought you called it a walk scene. That was sweet. Are you sure the school will make you happy? Strider. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Are you sure the school will make you happy? Strider asked as she lay nestled against him. It was the most joyous sensation Rowena had ever known. He was comfortable and warm. More than just a friend, he felt safe and soothing. Things she shouldn't experience while in the company of a knight. Yet he gave her such a feeling of elation that she wanted nothing more than to kiss him again and again and again until they were both numb from it. Stop thinking of his lips in italics. <laughs> so she lowered her gaze to his muscled thigh and answered his question. I better than being a slave to a man with no regard for me other than a broad man for his children. True, he said, his words a bit slurred, because they're drinking wine and sharing secrets with each other. She leaned her head back up to look at him. Aren't you drunk, my lord? Aye, he confessed with a smile while he caressed her cheek with his callous hands. But only a little. <laughs> she tissed at him and pulled his goblet away. He scoffed at her gesture. I bother you, well, I have nothing to go on, no, nothing better to do than bring myself into a stupor. For some reason that angered her. Granted, she wasn't one to a desire or a battle or urge anyone to fight. But something in, in the fightest nature of his words set her off fire. Is that what you do whenever you are bested? His eyes sparkled like blue fire. Even his, uh, even his cheeks bottled with the heat of his breath. I have. I have never been messed. Nor will I, he said earnestly. Then he relaxed ever so slightly. I am merely biding time. For what? For the moment when I am just pulled out of the cell and I'm to wreak havoc on the one who put me here. I'm going to pull out all his innards through his nostrils and dance around his entrails. Everyone has screwed up her face, a grisly image. She cringed at the very thought. Please, Strider, I pray you just, I pray you just jest and are speaking from desire, not actual experience. He blinked at her. Nay, yeah, I have never danced in anyone's entrails, but I should like you just once. He pulled his goblet back before it continued. It bothers me beyond the terms when I see injustice. I can't bear to think that the next and out there's the killer just waiting to strike at his next victim. He took another drink. Is that why the Brotherhood is so important to you? <sighs> he breathed, setting the goblet aside. Every person I save is another victory against the evil that festers in this world, and I will not rest until every captive is <clears throat> free. It was quite a goal her knight had set for himself. So you will never rest? Never know marriage or a family? Marriage! He spat the word as if it was poison on his tongue. 
Yeah. There's no holy union between two people, and for what purpose? To make them both miserable. For one, it was taken back by its hostility. True, she had often said similar things, but deep down she didn't mean it. Nay, marriage could and should be a wonderful union. I don't believe it. It has to be that way, she said, confessing her true thoughts soon. Imagine a marriage where the man and woman respect each other, where they are partners in eyes. He snorted at her. You are sober and speak more foolishness than I do all wrong. <laughs> he pulled his hair away from his neck, where a vicious scar curled to his back. It must have been truly painful to receive it. Did you see you this? What? I see. The top. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Oh, it's beautiful. This is an old love scene. Can we make a, a song? Oh,